Two whiskeys, please. Hello, John. Hello, Mr. McNeil. Take a seat. It's been a while. To old times. Did your man contact you yet? You've retired. Right. That come off it, John. Men like us don't retire, don't they? No, we stay in the action. We stay alive. You've been in the woods too long. Good for you to get back to work. What do you use for money up here? I have enough. I'll pay you 40000 for this. And you can enjoy yourself. Don't need it. Must be tough on that wife of yours, raising two kids on a wall of her own like that. She's all right. They're taken care of. Look, one more job, and that's it. I need the best. Get someone else. You're the man. Not anymore. I saw Lewis a while back. How was, uh, how's, how's he doing? Good. Eddie Kane got him a contract in South Yemen. All the action he can handle. <laughs> He's still crazy. He'll never quit. He can't. The best men don't. The best men don't stop, John, especially not you. You more than any of us. Take a couple of days, get yourself ready. Then come on over to Dublin. We'll go to work. It's finished. I got a commitment here, John. Not mine. I'd say it was. How? You forgot it was me who pulled you off the skids after your wife kicked you out? If I hadn't put you back to work, you'd have skidded your way all the way into the grave. You needed me behind the gun. And I gave you value for money, for the best. You owe me this one, John. Mr. McNeil, I don't want to see you again in this neighborhood where I live. I don't owe you a damn thing. Are you sure?